Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Masterminds. As it says, it's easy to learn, easy to play, but it's not so easy to win. This game is meant for two players. One is the coder and the other is the decoder or the code breaker. Now me and my brother are going to play to show you how to play this game. This is the Masterminds game board. These are the code pegs and these are the key pegs. Now let's set the game up. I'm this is a built-in tray for these coat pegs, and that is a built-in tray for these key pegs. The coat goes in here, and the flip-top coat shield saves it from being seen. Now my brother is going to put the coat in, and he'll hide it from me. I am going to decode it. Now it's my... My turn to keep the code. Hey, no peeking! So this is my code. I'm going to hide it with the flip top. And my sister is going to decode it. Now it's my turn to decode it. I'm going to choose to some random colors because I don't know what's in that flip top code shield. Before I put the key pegs, I'll tell you what the black key peg and the white key peg represents. White represents the color in my code and the color in my sister's code. They both are in my code but not in the correct position. The black peg means the color in my code and the color in this code matches and they're both in the correct position. So the color in my code and the color in this code, they both match, but they are not in the same position. So I use the white key peg. This color and this color, they both match and they're both in the same position. So I'm going to use the black. Key bag. But these two colors are not in this code, so I don't need to put any key pegs for that. Okay, so depending on these two key pegs, I have to guess that one color matches the color and position in his code, but the other one only matches the color. So, using this, I have to make another code. Okay, so I think this one is correct and it matches the same color and position. So, I put this over here and I think this one needs to change its pos position. So, I decide to put this here. These two... I think are wrong. So I had to choose a new color. I'll choose white and red. So red goes here and white goes here. And now this is my new code. My brother will put some more key pegs and depending on those, I had to create another one until I get the correct code. So this color in my code and this color in my code, they both match but not in the same position. So, another white key peg. And now this color in my code and this color in, in this code, they, they both match but not in the same position. So, you put another white, white peg. And this color in my code and this color in this code, they both 
match, but not in the correct position. So another white key bag goes. So I got three white bags, meaning that three of these colors are right, but they're not in the same position. But one, I got one black here, so I'll get back my green, thinking that it's in the same position and it's the right color. And I had to choose three colors from this one. Now I had to choose and three more colors. I'll go with black because it's common in this coat and this coat. So, but I only got whites. So I'll change the black's position to here and I'll go with white and red. I'll put red right here and white. Oh, I can't put white in the same position. So I'll change red's position over there and white's position over here. Oh, the same, the colors in my coat and the colors in this coat are similar. Now, I have to check if all of them are in the correct position or not. This, so this color and this color match, but not, not in the same position. So white peg goes in. Again, this color and this color match, but not in the same position. So another white peg goes in. This green and this green peg, they both match and are in the same position. So black peg goes in. And lastly, the black peg over here and the black peg over here, they both match, but not in the same position. So white peg goes in. Yippee! I got all four colors right. And I also got a black. Well, a black in here and a black in here means that green is in the right position. So I'll make a new code, but this time my goal is to get all four blacks. I'll put a black over here, a red over, I can't put it right here, I'll put it over here, a white over here, oh I forgot the green. A green over here and a black over here. Hmm. Oh, that's the code. Now it's my turn to make the code and my brother's turn to decode it. And this over here. I think two colors are right. The white in his code and the white in my code, they both are in the same position. So uh, I'll give him a black. And the black in his code and the black in my code, the same. it's the same color, but it's not in the same position. So a white. That's it. So now, there's a black and there's a white, so I think the red is the black and the white is the white. I have to change two colors, so the only two remaining colors is yellow and blue. Now let's see. Oh wow, he got a white because due to the white. Another white because of the yellow. And he got one black because of the blue. So because I got a black in my first try and a black on my second try, I think red is correct. And because white and white over here and white over here both got a white key peg, so I think it's over here. 
and now yellow I think it goes over here and now I don't understand what goes over there hmm I guess my first answer is correct now okay now let's see he will get a white because the white doesn't match the same position in my code. And uh, hmm. Now I think he'll get a black because of the yellow. It's the same color and it's in the same position. That's it. So I just noticed that there are three pay there are three key pegs over here and only two over here. So I think there there are more correct things correct answers in here than here. I think the white peg, the yellow peg and the blue peg are correct. So I use these three colors in my code now. I'll use the white one over here. Maybe the yellow one over here in the middle i think blue and lastly i think we can try black ones oh all of the colors are in my coat so let's see you'll get a white because of the yellow another white because of the black Finally, I got all of the colors, but the, now they're not in the correct position, not even one peg. So I think that I changed this position a little. Now let's see. He's going to get a white because of the white, a white because of the blue, a white because of the black, and another white because of the yellow. Okay, now I think I have to go review over the coat I already made. In this coat, there's a black and a white, so one of these might be correct. I think it's the white one. I'm going to put the white one over here. So, in this line, these three colors are correct. We already did white, and now it's the battle between yellow and blue. So, if we choose yellow, oh no, white already took yellow. So, we'll take blue as the black. In, now, we'll check this line. There's a black. And white. I think the because in our in the line below the yellow cannot go there, so we're going to try yellow over here. <coughs> and the white must have been white because we changed it over there. And now for the last one, let's check this one. This is our this is the line we knew we had checked to know all of these colors are actually in the code. So, the last color we need is black. You broke the code. All the colors match my colors and they also match the same positions. So this is how you play masterminds. You had to use your brain and logic to break the code. It is the best game for two players to play. We can nearly engage one hour or so playing this. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.